of the Nice 10,000 meter PBs is a festival of distance running held each year in London. Having grown each year since its birth in 2013, the 2016 event doubled as the British Olympic selection race. With Mo Farah guaranteed a spot as reigning Olympic champion, all eyes were on reigning European champion Joe Pavey and European silver medalist Andy Vernon as they aimed for guaranteed selection. Amid a party atmosphere and with the crowd roaring the athletes home from lane three, it was due to be a night of surprises. Uh, for me, it's a qualifying for Olympics uh, for France. I have to, to do under 32. It will be very hard, but it, it's possible for me. Can you introduce yourself first? Yeah, Ross Millington. And can you tell us a little bit about how it felt? It's gone hard. British champion? Yeah, I'm pleased with, yeah, with that outcome. Obviously, the time was I just missed the European standard. That's a bit of a stinger, but. Can't, you can't, you can't be winning a race, that's why I race, so yeah. You've been training especially for this evening? Uh, yeah, kind of, 10K has kind of been a switch in the focus from earlier in the year, so yeah, I've had, I've had my eye on this race for quite a while, so obviously it's great to win. Well done. Thank you. Well done. My name is Kojo, World Masters Champion at 10,000. I won the B race here last year, uh, so it gave me automatic entry for the A race this year. But having ran uh, London only three and a bit weeks ago, uh, legs felt a bit heavy, but uh, I thought, well, the opportunity to run an Olympic trial, something you mustn't give up, and at 41 years of age, I'm not going to get another chance. So was, for this year, was London, was doing a marathon time, did you um, prioritise that? No, the, the priority was actually this one, but uh, I've been in such good form during the cross-country season and the bit of road, I've done some half marathons, set some PBs, and, um, you know, I thought London Marathon, great event, um, I might have enough, you know, to compete here as well, but I uh, managed to knock five minutes off my marathon best. Um, but uh, I think, you know, four weeks between London and this is a bit too much to ask myself. But, you know, uh, you live and learn. You're never too old to learn something new. Um, Jess, could you just introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Jess. Yeah, no, I'm Jess Andrews. And I'm going to have a shell shock to the moment. incredible. Thank you. That was so good. Thank You're you. from, like, one of the fastest women's clubs. Tell us yeah. more. Well, I'm actually, I moved to Spain a couple of years ago with my partner and I flew in on Thursday, no, Friday, yesterday, to race and the training's been going really well and I feel really good and I just thought, I have nothing to lose, basically, so. And what was it like seeing Lynette ahead for so, so many laps? Do you know what, I just blanked it out, I just thought, I feel good, just go, just keep going, just keep going. Amazing, well yeah, done. Yeah, thank you so much. So we're here with a world, world mountain running champion. Can you, tell us, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name's Eric Clayton. I'm from Leeds City. Um, I usually do the mountains, but I'm on the track tonight. I think I did about three, three and a half. I mean, I would have liked to run a little bit faster, but I've only been back like 10 weeks, so I'm quite happy where I'm at, I guess. That was my first 10K on the track for about eight years, so a bit of a shock to the system, I think. But, um, I enjoy, I mean, the atmosphere is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's such a great event. And what's it like running in a track race, a 10,000 track race, just with women? I mean, it's fantastic. Um, I mean, the standard here is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's just great to look around and see how many very good runners there are. So, yeah, it's great. 